Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to mute a specific part of a video or of an audio file by using FFmpg and this is a great tool because especially in a video and especially if you are uploading on YouTube you know like uh, I upload a lot of video game stuff and some of them some of those video games they have like an external soundtrack all right which are def basically some uh, commercial or mainstream songs, all right? So what's the problem? That when you upload them to... Actually, I'll show you. Uh... When you upload them to YouTube, some of them uh, may get detected as... Uh, as a copyright, all right. And what's the problem? The problem is that they are going to the video is going to be monetized, or maybe there is a copyright claim. And in my case, it's not the best way because my my channel is not monetized, so I would like not to have monetized video. All right. You can, by the way, use a the the built-in. Um, where is it? Enhancement. Yeah, you can use the built-in YouTube video modifier, this and that, but it requires it requires Flash. I'm not gonna install Flash just for uh, modifying a video through YouTube. So what I'm showing you right now is just a way to mute certain parts of a video and then upload them. Okay, I just I just did that on a video that uh, I'm uploading right now. That I just burn out, which is full of uh, mainstream music like Guns N' Roses, stuff like that. Okay. So, what you have to do is, I'm going to use FF Play, and if you watched a previous video that I uploaded, I show you how to reproduce, to reproduce a sinusoidal wave, okay, so that you can test your uh, hearing capabilities, okay, by, by, by playing some different uh, frequencies, so maybe some different sound based on the frequencies, like 1000 hertz, 10,000 hertz, 5000, whatever. Okay, so that was lovely. Then the scene, noisoidal wave, and let's go with 5000. Okay, let's say that this is your audio part of a video or just an audio of an audio file. Okay. And let's say that this part, it's like 10 seconds and that uh, I have some copyright issues from two seconds to six seconds, okay? What you want to do, you want to set an audio filter and then you want to set a volume and actually you need this here and you want to use the enable. So. What I'm going to do right now, you can actually um, you can actually do with every uh, um, yeah every uh, option. Let's say like volume in this case that support enable. Okay, you'll find them in the FFmpg documentation. Then I want to tell between and it this one actually and also here. And then actually the seconds, I say like from two seconds to six, let's make to four. And then I set the volume to zero and I close everything. So what's going to do, the audio filter is going to set the volume between the two, between from two seconds to four seconds to zero. If I play it, As you can see it goes down and then it returns up. I can do a little bit more. Let's go to six from two seconds to six seconds. Muted. And then it returns back. Okay. And by the way, you can just uh, apply something else in here. Maybe I can do like this. 
you probably can do this in another way but I'm not really I don't know really how to do that so two seconds six seconds and seven until nine okay that's it and actually this is great because uh, as I say you can mute and uh, using FFmpeg so let me just cancel all this FFmpeg and then you give an input like input dot mp4 okay then you mute the audio part that you, do, you don't want anymore they can be more they can be like uh, I don't know from one minute to two minutes then from four minutes to five or whatever and then the great thing is that you can copy the video okay so that the modification it just won't touch the video so that the, it will be super fast to just to to modify the audio and then you have your output uh, output dot mp4 my god Jesus, all right. So as I said, this is great and this is going just to modify, she's going to modify just the audio, okay, without touching the video, if you copy the video part, okay, so codec, video, copy. This is my opinion, it's a great way to, to just mute the audio and to avoid, uh, if you're using this for YouTube, to avoid all these copyright issues and people claiming this, claiming that, uh, putting money on your videos, monetization, ads, <coughs> shitty stuff, you know. So just mute them using FFmpg, copying the video so that it will take seconds, and that's it. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you on the next uh, tutorial or video. Bye-bye.